Welcome to it. My name is Pesima Bandu and we are here at the monument at the exhibition of one Beth Diane Armstrong and she's on the couch. Hi Percy, How lovely to be here. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. We've been working hard to try and get you here. You're such a busy person. Yeah, <laughs> All right. yeah it's been a busy few days, that's yeah. for sure. All yeah. right. But hey, uh, let's start by saying congratulations for making the Standard Bank Young Artist of the Year Award. Thank you. Now, yeah. your work is very labor intensive, as you're saying. Yeah. I'm really, really interested in, in, in say, you know, the Rose of um, the Roots yeah. uh, piece, for instance. How long does it take? From, from conception till a point where you can say, okay, I'm letting it go, it's a finished work? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting question um, and it ties in with my title, In Perpetuum. Yep, yeah. Um, in Perpetuum means forever and ever, ongoing, yeah. on and on. Um, and for me, I can't separate me as a being in process making from anything really. Um, and is my rhizome finished? No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's constantly is, is like where did it begin and where is it ending? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I feel like what you see in this exhibition is a snapshot in time of ongoing process of me as an artist. So, um, just looking at the drawings, for example, I've drawn them over 2015 to 2017, but I, had, I just happened to frame 112 of them. There's more, um, and I will carry on drawing. There's like this kind of ongoing. Process. process. Um, mm -hmm. If you look at the titles of my works, they call they they all kind of indicate the idea of like an action word, a doing, mm -hmm. an ongoing um, something that you know not something that like lands as a full stop. Yeah. Um, something that's more like a comma, like a and then you know. Yeah. yeah. But the, the rhizome to get back to that, I um, I quite simply have wanted to make a rhizome for yeah. many many years and yeah. got to make a rhizome now. Yeah. Um, there's many reasons behind that. Um, Tell me about that. At least one <laughs> of the many one. reasons. Um, yeah. So when I was um, back doing my masters in yeah. at Rose University, um, I was looking at the theorists Deleuze and Guattari, yeah, um, yeah, and they yeah. speak about the rhizome as a yeah. thought concept to explain a bunch yeah. of things. Um, and so the rhizome is a root structure that grows kind of infinitely in any direction and any part of it is connected to any other part of it. And it's opposed to the structure like um, the taproot system of a tree, for example, yeah. which is very kind of hierarchical. Yeah. Um, it's got, you know, the main root Almost and then like linear, yeah. linear sub roots that come off it. So that's a very systematized, ordered, structured, hierarchical system. Mm -hmm. And then the rhizome is a more lateral, um, organic. organic, chaotic um, mm -hmm. and interconnected thing. Beth, thank you so much. You've yeah. given me so much. Perfect, uh, yeah. thanks. And congratulations yeah. again. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 All right, there you have it. That's me, Pesima Bandu, on the couch with Beth Diane Armstrong. Great, thank you. See you on the other side.